You're always doing really weird things in this gym. I'm just making snow angels. Uh, Let it snow. You know that it's springtime and you're inside, right? Huh. Didn't know it. Hey mom, who built the ark? I don't know. Who built the ark? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Where did the pencils come from? I don't know. Where did the pencils come from? Uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? I'm just wondering where Jen is because we have our next tape to do. I'm not sure. I, wait, I hear, I hear something. Jen? Yes? Are you in there? I am. What, what are you doing? Well, I'm inside here because it's a quiet place and I, I, I don't like, see you. Well, come on up to the top. There we go. Hi. Oh, there you are. I wanted a quiet place to read my Bible. Oh. And I thought I did funny things in the gym. You do funny things under the ladder. Well, it's nice and quiet away from everybody here. And I like alone time to read God's Word. Oh, what are you reading about? I'm reading about a man named Daniel. Can you read some to me? Absolutely. Daniel was really strong and... That makes me feel really good. So here, I'll share it with you. It's called Helped by an Angel. 
Daniel was one of the captive Jews taken prisoner from Jerusalem. He was very wise and became important in his new home. I'm very important. Yes, yes you are. Yep. King Darius relied on Daniel to help him make good decisions. The king liked Daniel so much he gave him bigger and better jobs to do. But this made the other officials jealous. <gasps> That's not good. Do you ever feel jealous? Yeah. Yeah, me too. They didn't like a captive Jew getting the best jobs and being honored by the king, so they plotted to hurt Daniel. Oh my goodness. It's not good. One day, the officials had a brainstorm. I've got it, one, man, one of the men said. Daniel prays Did to they catch a fish? No. They got an idea. Oh. Daniel prays to God three times every day. Three times? That's a lot of times. Yes, it is. It's a lot of times. A lot, a lot, a lot of times. Oh, Tanya. Let's get the king to sign a law making prayer illegal, they said. You know illegal? I, yeah, do you know what illegal means? No. Illegal means that it's against the rules. Oh, like when I don't follow the rules at home? Mm, no, bigger rules, like from the country. Oh, okay. The officials quickly convinced the king to sign the law. Now those who prayed to anyone except the king would be thrown into a den of lions. Oh my goodness, that would be very, 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 very dangerous. It's true. And you know, Tanya, I love you so very much, but sometimes I just need some quiet time to but, think about what it is that I'm reading. And I really want to share this story with you, but maybe you could not interrupt while I read. Oh, okay, I'll try. Okay. King Darius was pleased with this new rule. He felt even more powerful and important than ever. Oh, no. But he forgot that his friend Daniel prayed to God. As soon as Daniel began to pray near his windows, the officials ran to the king. Daniel broke your new law. He's praying to God. Now you'll have to throw him to the lions. The king was upset. He liked Daniel very much. He told Daniel, you serve your God so faithfully. Maybe he can save you. Into the lion's den went Daniel. The king was so worried about his friend, he couldn't sleep. The next morning, King Darius ran to the lion's den and called out, Daniel, are you alive? To his surprise, Daniel answered back, my God sent his angels to protect me, said Daniel. God's angels shut the mouth of the lion. They didn't hurt me at all. King Darius immediately declared a new law. In every part of my kingdom, people must worship the God of Daniel. He is the living God, the God who rescues and saves. place to get away from things and talk to God Why? and read the Bible. Well, I I really like to find a place without distractions because if I sit and read in a really noisy spot, then I keep thinking, oh, what's going on over there? Oh, what's there? Oh, squirrel! Oh. But if I find a place that's quiet, then it's a little easier for me to talk to God and 
I can spend more time reading his Bible. Is that why you asked me to be quiet when I was... It is, because um, it's easier for me to focus and not get distracted and really, like, understand what I'm trying to read. Huh. So it's a good thing. Well, so I should find a place. Okay. Um, can I only talk to God in a quiet place where I'm not distracted? No, Does that's... he only listen to me when I'm not distracted? Because I'm distracted a lot. Well, that's the great thing about God, because he can hear you anywhere. The reason why I want a quiet place is for me. It's not for God, it's for me. Oh. So you can talk to God in a really loud place or in a really quiet place. Oh, hmm. I didn't know that. Why should we get a quiet place then? Did you already say that? Because I got distracted. I did say that. I say it because it's I need the quiet place so that I don't get pulled away with everything that's around me. It, it allows me to just stay and focus on God. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go back in here and maybe talk to God and stuff like that and listen to God and stuff like that. Bye. Bye. While Tanya is taking her time with God, I want to give you a challenge for this week. I want you to think about, is there a quiet place that you can talk with God or spend time reading his Bible? Where would be your favorite place to kind of get away from all the distractions and just spend some time with God? Let us know. You can email Tanya at kids at evangelnaphany.com and let her know where's your quiet place. boys and girls we are back again and it is time to do our draw for the week so thank you to everyone who entered it's great that you're doing all of miss tanya's challenges so keep up the good work and we are going to figure out who our winner is for this week so hat please oh ellie who do you think it's gonna be it is micah congratulations micah you are our winner for this week you're gonna have to get in contact with miss tanya so that you can pick what prize you would like. So hopefully you all do Miss Tanya's challenge for this week so that your names can be entered for next week. Hey guys, so we are going to play Read My 
Nice. Good job, Larry. Thanks. What's my name, Bob? No? Okay. So, what we're going to do is we have our own sayings or words that we've made up for each other. Uh, the other person is going to put headphones on with loud music so they can't hear what I'm saying. My music's really loud. Uh, yeah, I could kind of hear it earlier. Uh, so, I'm going to say the word like... Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And Jen's gonna have to try to read my lips. She can't hear what I'm saying, but she has to guess what I'm saying just by reading my lips. So here we go. Miss Jen, she's gonna put her headphones on and her really loud music. Let it go. Let it This go. is really hard. We pick hard games. Let it go. Do you have any of the words? I, I got it. There was three words. Do it again. Let it go. Let it go? Yes! yes! You got it. Jen got oh, a point. It's so hard when there's like music pumping in yes. your ear. <laughs> mm. Are you ready? Eventually. <gasps> Pretty close. How many guesses do you get? In December. How many words? Even. Adventure. <laughs> do, do one more. Event December. You're so, I feel like you're so close. Okay, eventually. Evangel. Even. Temple. Temple. Evangel Temple. Oh, I got it! Oh, this is gonna be hard. <clears throat> Mom. Mom. Yes. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Two. Two, two, cadence, cadence, lettuce, cadence, cadence, and mom to cadence and, and Micah, Micah, mom to cadence and Micah. I got it. So. <laughs> Lost and found. Woo! Did I get it? Yes, you did. I love purple. I love purple. I love poop. <laughs> I love purple. Purple. Yes. Paw Patrol? Whoa, you are good! Elephant shoes. Elephant shoes! Yeah! <laughs> How'd you get it? I don't know what that is, but I was like, wait, I know that one! Hip hip hooray! <sighs> April showers bring May flowers. May flowers. April showers. April showers bring May flowers. Yes, oh. you got it. This is the greatest show. Oh my goodness. How many words? <laughs> okay. I just do one word. I've got a lovely button. Are those right? I've got a lovely. Okay. 
sponge. sponge. Pitcher? Sponge. Sponge. Do it again. Bungee? Of? Coconut. Coconut. Koalas? <laughs> I've got a lovely bunch. bunch. Bunch of, of coconuts. Coconut. Cooties? I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Yay! I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I can fly. <gasps> nice. <laughs> Good nice. job. Super I can't say it. That's super califragile. Yes. Okay. Super califragile. No, I can't say it. Sidewalk sale. Skywalker. Sidewalk sale. Sidewalk. Skywalk. Sidewalk. Jawan. Syllables. Side. 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 Sight. Side. Walk. Walk. Sidewalk. Skywalk. Sidewalk. Skywalk. Sail. Sail. Sidewalk sale! Sidewalk sale! <laughs> <Woo! laughs> what? Chest is all the guest. Chase. Chest? Chase. Chase. Chase is on the case! <laughs> Jesus on the case. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Five words. Three Into. words. Three. Into. Tissue. Into. Issue. Into. D. The. Lee. The. The unknown. Unknown. Un Iago? <laughs> unknown. Unknown. So go into issue. <laughs> the issue me <laughs> issuing. Into teacher. <laughs> okay. Into issue. The the unknown. Into the unknown. <laughs> Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh <laughs> Always right. about frozen. Always Come on now. All right. To be even, to be into oven. <laughs> to to infinity. Even and X and S and <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> and X. Beyond. Begotten. Begot. To. <laughs> to. In go to. I don't know. Go to the third one. And. At. And. Eight. And. A. A. And. Afraid. Beyond. Begot. Beyond. Begone. Beyond. <laughs> 
to infinity and beyond. Oh, oh, to infinity and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who won? Uh, put Wide it here. Open. Put, put it here, okay? Whoever won, put it here. Yeah, put it there. Put it here. Yeah. And whoever sang the best, put it on this side. The loudest? Loudest always. <laughs> Bye. Bye.